both legs straight. <clears throat> both arms reach up to the ceiling, slowly reach down, try to grab your foot. Chin on the chest, roll down slightly. Feel the stretch in your calves, in your hamstring and lower back. Breathe. At least five deep breaths. One more time, reach up. Grab your big toe and reach down for it. When your left leg at front, grab your right ankle. Your thigh should be parallel to the ground and you press your heel on the hip. Try to take that leg back as far as possible. Switch to the other side. Grab your left ankle, heel on the hip and take that thigh back as far as possible. Thigh zameen se upar uthai hai, thigh parallel honi chahiye zameen se, gutta zameen pe nahi hai piche wala. Jaldi. Relax. Now this might be hard for many. This leg goes back. And you need to reach down to your foot again. Try to grab the foot, interlock your fingers, try to take your head down to the knee. Even if you can reach up to your shin, that's okay. You will gradually progress slowly. It's a good immense stretch for your hamstrings. Focusing on one at a time. Switch five breaths on the other side. Left knee is bent and right leg is straight. One more time. Right leg back. Grip your foot and reach down. Forward, left leg at the back. Grip your foot. Back. I want you to lie down the back. Get into a cross leg position. Lie down into a cross leg position. Leg goes on top of your left leg, stretching the hip now. Grip your left leg and pull it up towards your chest. As you do this, you need to push your right leg away with the elbow, stretching the right side hip. Switch other side, cross leg, grip your right shin. Pull it up and push your left leg away now with the elbow. Relax. Again, right leg crosses and up. Five breaths, switch, left leg crosses, and up. Right 
right leg straight, bring your uh, left leg straight, bring your right knee up to your chest, back and hold. Try to draw a circle with the ankle, five clockwise, and five anticlockwise. Switch, left knee goes up, right leg straight, press hard, ankle circles five. And reverse spine. Moving up to the spine, grab both your ankles, place them close to your hip. Slowly lift your hip high as high as possible. If this is hard for you, stay here. If you can go back to Chakrasan, brilliant. Your hands go back to both your shoulders, fingers pointing down to the heels. Push off with your hands. And slowly extend back. I breath and come back down. Rest. One more repetition. Grab your ankles close to your hip. Lift your hip up high. Shoulder blades pressing on the ground. This is a good start. So very glutes lower back upright. Open the front of the hip. Hands at the back if you can, go to Chakras. And back down. Spine flexion. Both hands on the sides, pressing down into the floor. Both legs up perpendicular to the ground. Push off with your hands, slowly take your toes up behind your head. Slowly come back down, and bend your knees and rest one more time. Complete flexion. Both legs up straight. Push off with your hands, slowly flex and reach back. Come back down. Both hands stay on the sides, both knees up, bend at 90 degrees, feet off the ground. Half side to the back as well, in line with your shoulders. Drop down both knees on the left, knee on knee, ankle on ankle, resting. We keep looking up at the ceiling, spiral stretch. Press your hands into the ground, pick up your knees up, drop it slowly on the other side. In this one also, you will feel that one side is harder. You can do more repetitions on that side. Come back. One more on each side, left side, going down. This is also a great spine popper if you have something in the spine stuck. You might hear a pop. Come back. Right side twist, turn, and drop. Center, and relax. Rest in Shahasan. Just 30 seconds, close your eyes, breathe, and we go back to our daily segment. Pranayam and Vidhamaskar. 